there is a place for our stories, local, folklore, African, Afro-Caribbean culture. These stories are very good. I think the only challenge is we need to take them from the books where they are and translate them to a more palatable medium, like something digital, like animation. Um, because animation does not, have the, does not necessarily have the geographical limits of a book. Animation is something you can, you can send a file online, you understand? So we have stories, we have content, but we just need to kind of evolve it into the current forms of media. It's not just animation. Um, we can use film as well. We can use um, comics, illustrations, but animation would be a very powerful tool to tell our stories. And I think there's a place for our stories. Um, however, I think honestly, we can start here. If we just start telling our stories here, we popularize our stories here, maybe we have our own animation festival or film festivals and we can have animation as part of a film festival and people can see the potential of um, taking a, a play and recreating it into a form of, a, into a form of um, animation. People can see, hey, like maybe we're going somewhere with this, just like how they have Japanese and Chinese manga and all those things. People can see, hey, but animation is doing justice to some of the stories that we have, to some of the, the historical, um, historical content that our country has. So, I feel like if we can, amongst ourselves in our own country, popularize um, evolving our folklore and our art into, some, into a more digital and modern medium like animation, it will eventually seep into the outside world and people will appreciate it. Um, for example, I see people watch Japanese anime. And sometimes the thing is spoken in Japanese, but they would go through the onerous task of reading subtitles and learning about how Japanese culture. So that's to show you the entertainment form itself is a form of drawing people into your culture and inviting them to, to experience your ways and your folklores and your stories. Um, you don't necessarily have to change your culture to conform. There is a time and a place for that, but you don't necessarily have to change who you are, your stories to conform to the outside world. But how about they come in to experience your own stories? So I think that it can be very powerful. And that's something I personally want to explore in animation. That's one of my, my goals actually in animation that I have somewhere stored at the back of my mind until I have the resources to do it. Um, but to tell our stories, for example, the Creole language is a very powerful, a very fun language. The way people speak in Creole is something that I thoroughly enjoy because when you speak Creole, you don't just speak with your mouth. People speak with their bodies. They speak with a force, they speak with an energy, they speak with sometimes with a harshness. I enjoy that about the Creole language. And I don't even have something to do with where I came from, but I always grew up seeing the way people used to argue and quarrel. And hey, there's a lot of things I could say about that, <laughs> but I won't go into it. Um, but yeah, the Creole language itself, culturally and artistically can be used to push animation.